How's it going everyone? Welcome to the channel. Ak Koyanlu. Ak Koyanlu? I've been trying to say Ak Koyanlu for a while now and I still don't have it. So I'm just going to call it AQ. Playing as AQ is really fun. It has an interesting starting position and some really good national ideas. But all that doesn't matter for what we have gathered here for. We are looking to do the Rise of the White Sheep achievement. This achievement requires us to own the province of Tabriz and eliminate Kara Koyanlu from the map by 1478. Let's look at the map and assess the situation. So Kara is right next to us and they have two vessels. We need to own their capital Tabriz and we need to eliminate Kara all by 1478. That's 34 years. Who designs these achievements? I tried it a few times and as with most timed achievements, we will have to play a little different and aim to finish the game in 34 years and not worry about anything beyond that. To my surprise, I managed to do it by 1472. I think a few conditions need to exist for the strategy to work. So let's go over them quickly and then I will show you my playthrough. First condition is that Ajam is not attacked by Timurids at the start which happens when Timurids are themselves facing an independence war from their vassals and it actually happens fairly often. Ajam is key to bringing down Kara as they are always rivals and Ajam will join the war with promise of land. Second condition is that right before attacking Kara you need to roll a 3 or 4 siege general. Restart if you don't get it. It is pure RNG but it will help you get that war score quick and it's really important. Alright, let's look at the opening strategy, diplomacy options and the sequence for wars. Set your national focus to military. Get a merchant to Aleppo node and set him on improve relations options. Get 150 military points from nobility. Improve with Ajam, Mamluks and Ottomans. We are going to ally Ajam first, then Mamluks. Allying Ottoman isn't necessary, they won't really help you out in wars. Try to ally the scholar nation with aggressive expansion reduction. It's going to help a lot later. Don't set your rivals yet, we will set them once our army is ready. Now start building 2 cavalry and 1 infantry to get to force limit. This will complete the mission and give us extra morale. When we have 10 RB units, look for the weakest neighbor. It's typically either Trebizond or Samachke. There should be an achievement on butchering names without even trying. I'd be good at that. Samchke? I'm going with that. So your ideal targets are either Trebizond or Samchke. Dulkadir is another good one, but they ally Great Horde fairly frequently. So it's better to wait till later when the Horde doesn't honor the call to arms. Better to avoid unnecessary bloodshed. Right before attacking, set them as rivals, then use the Humiliate CB to declare. The war will be super easy. You just need time to seize the level 3 fort down, then use Show Strength to piece them out for 100% war score. If you have never used it, Show Strength is only available if you use the Humiliate rival CB. It gives you the same things as Humiliate, that is prestige and power projection, along with 100 monarch points of each category, which is huge. In case of AQ, we also get 30 tribal allegiance points. This is a mechanic for tribal federations, which AQ is. You gain tribal allegiance by winning battles and humiliating rivals, and lose it by losing and getting humiliated, and it also goes down passively. You can buy three things using these points. They cost 30 tribal allegiance each. A general with 40 army tradition, cavalry compatibility of 15%, and 6 cavalry units for no upfront cost. Tribal Allegiance also has modifiers to manpower recovery and national unrest, so all in all it's a fairly powerful mechanic and one we are going to use for this achievement. Now that we know we can get Tribal Allegiance points and Monarch points from humiliating rivals, let's humiliate another one. Again, choose a weak one, you don't want to fight extended battles in this achievement run. While these battles are happening, you should also be fabricating a claim on his Nikaifa. So the next part is optional, but it helps a lot and that is attacking his Nikaifa. Conquering it completes a mission giving you a lot of permanent claims in Kara which we can use to declare multiple wars on them. You can also manually fabricate claims but I found this mission makes it easier and saves some time. I had allied Ajam by this point and I was waiting for them to finish their war so I can call them to attack Kara for the first war. 
so in the meantime, I attacked his Nikaya farm, as they only had a couple of minor allies. The war actually took longer than I expected, about 5 years. But 4 of those years Ajam was at war, so it kind of worked out in the end. I got the mission, and now I had all these claims. So it was time to attack Kara. I got the 6 calves and 15% cavalry compatibility from the tribal interaction, then took some loans and got 3 or 4 merc infantry. I got super lucky with the rolls and got a 4 seed general. Also, if you convert your heir to a general, he is really good. Use him for battles and the seed general for sieges. I declared for Mosul next, call him Ajam on promise of land. For this war, focus on sieging down the forts. And that's why you need that siege general, because you need the sieges to go fast. Kara and their allies will almost always go for Ajam first, so you should have time to siege at least 3 forts. Keep your armies close by and use the air general to fight battles. You will take a lot of loans, but Mamluks might help you out with some subsidies. This war is the longest and the most difficult one. Ajam will almost always fall and peace out separately. By this time, you should have sieged down most of Kara. Try to peace out their allies and take money from them, then take all of Kara's money, provinces too and including Tabriz that we need for achievement, and release a tiny vessel somewhere with the rest of the war score if you can. Taking money here is important, as you will be bleeding money and will have ton of loans. You need to pay them off so you don't go bankrupt before completing the achievement. You should also be taking military tech whenever possible, and don't take any other tech. You need to save all the diplo points for releasing nations in peace deals and reducing war exhaustion, and admin points for raising stability and coring in that order. Also keep allying whichever small nation you have released, it will ensure that Kara doesn't get new allies. Now would also be a good time to put two of your diplomats on improving relations with outraged countries, because we are going to declare the second war in a month. Which means truce breaking. That will mean stability to minus 3, plus 5 war exhaustion, and a fair bit of aggressive expansion. But we are going to declare anyways. Right after declaring, bring up your stability to 0 and buy down war exhaustion. It's important to pay attention to stab here, as having negative stab reduces the amount of loans you can have, which could mean immediate bankruptcy. Now obviously we won't have any allies to join the war, Sometimes Mamluks might join you, but in my game they did not rival Kara and were not really interested in this part of the world. This war won't be as hard. Peace out their allies for as much money as you can, then full siege Kara. I was able to complete this war in a couple of years as Kara was already severely weakened by the previous war. This time, take some money and also try to release bigger nations. And now is the time to sit back and chill. Delete all your forts if you haven't already done so delete all army above force limit, we still won't be making any money, but at least we won't be losing too much, and we won't go bankrupt before next war. The reason we can't do another truce break right now is because of loans. We don't have enough admin power to take the stab back to zero, and you might already be debasing currency at this point, which means corruption is starting to climb up, making stab even costlier. So we will wait till we have 500 admin points. We also need to code the provinces we conquered in the first war, also, the aggressive expansion will have some time to die down a bit. Again, try to ally all nations that were just released. You will go above relation limit, but that's fine. You might get some good events like Mamluks influencing you giving one extra monarch points and also subsidizing you. You might also get unlucky like me and get a greedy ruler and corrupt Sardar giving overall minus 10% tax modifier, which is painful to see, especially when you are staring at potential bankruptcy. I was able to hit military tech almost at the same time I had 500 admin points, and I was ready for another war. Unfortunately, I still couldn't full annex Kara. Their total war score was 131%. So again, I took money from their allies, took some money from Kara themselves, released another small nation and took as many provinces as I could. That helped me pay some of the loans, and I only had 14 loans at this point. Significant improvement from earlier when I had 20 loans. But also, my loan size was bigger now, which meant I could pay earlier loans, decreasing the number of loans overall. I could also finally ally Ajam again, and that's when I decided to hit the final blow. I declared on Kara again and called Ajam with promise of land. Another one of the small allies decided to join in too. I couldn't get my stab up this time though, so my loan limit was severely compromised, so I just seized down their capital, then lowered my army maintenance as I knew my allies would take care of the rest. 
The enemy army kept trying to chase me as they saw my low army morale and in the meantime my allies did the job. My loan situation really was dire. I had 9 loans at the end and I would have faced bankruptcy after 12 loans. So it was a close call but we managed to full annex Kara between me and my allies and there it was December 1472 and Kara doesn't exist anymore and I own Tabriz. I was a little surprised that I finished the achievement 6 years before the intended date. In all honesty, I think I was playing fast and loose with loans. I was one bad event or one bad battle away from bankruptcy a few times. But I managed to finish the achievement anyways. Now I am at minus 3 stab and I don't have admin points to even core these provinces. I have 500 ducats in loan which actually isn't bad. Mamluk subsidies came in really handy. 3 ducats a month, that's a lot. My negative taxation modifiers also went away eventually so that helped. My inflation is at 16% though and corruption is at 34. Yikes. Also my neighbors seem a little unhappy with me for some reason, although I still have a lot of allies. It was a fun achievement run. I think Kara can be eliminated in 3 wars rather than 4 like I did. And if you can involve Mamluks in any way that would be huge and will make the run much easier. Also keep abusing the estates. I got a lot of monarch points of them and giving provinces to Dimi also brings down the tech cost which is helpful. All in all, it was a good achievement, although imperfect at times, still managed to complete it by 1472. Hope you guys got some pointers out of it. I had a lot of fun. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.